Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am here, still in Memphis, sitting outside of Derek's apartment. Nice and cool. I have no clue what the temperature is, but I'm enjoying it. Yes, same shirt as yesterday. I know it's Thanksgiving. I'm not one to say Happy Thanksgiving because I find that there are so many people in this world who are not happy today or any day. <laughs> so it just seems so, I don't know. You know me. I hate to say things that might make someone feel pressured into thinking that they should be happy today or that they should be doing certain things like enjoying family or I don't know all of that stuff not everyone is happy and I think it's perfectly okay to be miserable during a holiday I think it's normal I think a lot of people are going through that and I've always been a cheerleader, not just now, but if you look at my blog, almost every holiday, I have this little thing where I explain to people that if their day sucks and they're down and out, they don't have to feel bad about that because holidays are very hard for certain people. You just never know what's going on in their life, and I just like to let them know you're not alone. A lot of people are miserable right now, and there is no right or wrong way to spend a holiday. You have the right to cry into your pillow all day if that's what you feel like doing. And I will cheer you on and say, yes, cry, get it all out. So that's the kind of Thanksgiving I'm hoping for you. And for those of you who do not celebrate Thanksgiving because you're not even where Thanksgiving is celebrated, I just hope that every day is just an okay day. We can't really ask for much more than that, can we? I'm good with okay days. <laughs> Today's an okay day for me. We have been alone since yesterday, early. Derek brought, uh, no, Skylar's mom came to pick her up. We are going to have her tonight. We're going to get her probably like 6.30 tonight. I believe we're having her tomorrow night too. This is Thursday, Friday. Derek is bringing her back home on Saturday because that's when they're doing their Thanksgiving. I don't know if I will see her Sunday. I leave on Monday. So all I know, we're having her tonight. That's the plan. I am planning a night of card games. I like to play cards with Skyla. We like to make up games. And since I have time to kill before we go get her, I thought that I would just chat with you guys for a little bit. I kind of have a little update of what I think I might feel like doing when I get back home on Monday. Again, I can't say anything for sure because I have no idea about living arrangements for my mother or for myself. If my mother comes back to the house, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might hop back on a plane to Memphis. Seriously doubt that because I don't have a place to live here. If Derek's landlord would get a place in this complex of his available, I would for sure take it. And I wouldn't care if I was living here or not. I would try to find a way to swing running the house and also paying for an apartment here just so I could have a place to go. He had a place right upstairs about maybe six or eight months ago, and I considered it. But at the time, I just was like, ugh, just doesn't seem like it makes sense to do that, but now it makes sense to do that because I really need to be able to get away. And anyway, enough about that. I'm thinking that when I get home, I have uh, two videos that I think I would feel up to. One is I want to show you guys how I made some awesome beef jerky while I was here. I made it using a seasoning, not a seasoning, a marinade that Derek happened to have too sweet for me. It's not something that I would want to indulge in, but I've made two batches so far and they both came out great, even though I didn't really have like a, a pan with a rack. One time I just put foil on the rack of his oven and, you know, made slots just so the beef wouldn't fall through and that dried really really well but the second time I got lazy and just put it all like on a big cookie sheet and of course that doesn't dry as much but it was still good I'm anxious when I get home to make myself some with maybe just some hot sauce or just some dry rub cayenne pepper a little bit of cayenne pepper maybe a pinch of salt I'm just curious to experiment with that I always thought you had to dry it forever I used to make beef jerky a lot years ago 
and I think I used to just leave it in the oven overnight. I would put the oven on to like 200 and put the beef in and shut the door, turn the oven off and just let it sit there. But this one, it's like I looked at a video and the guy did it for 175 degrees. I just put his oven on warm for like four hours and that was great. And the marinating time, he said he's tested it many ways and no more than three hours he found was the best because after a while the meat starts to break down. So I was glad to know it doesn't have to sit in the fridge overnight in the marinade just soaking that up. So the first batch I only marinated for an hour and a half and then I put it in the oven for like three hours. So it was really, really good if you like jerky. Okay, so that's a video I think I could tackle when I get home. The other thing isn't really a video, it's my fabric frenzy that I was planning on doing on December 8. I had completely forgotten about that and somebody brought it up and I thought, you know what, I could possibly still do that depending on living situations and how my life is going in that aspect. But other than that, I think it would be a really good way for me to work obsessively and compulsively like I like without having to really do a lot of recording video wise because it takes a lot of time to put together the fabric frenzy I have pictures to take and you know the posts on my blog to set up and the PayPal buttons and all that so that would really keep me occupied I still plan on recording trying to record every day even when I get home but that will give me something to focus on and I like that and I'll need that I'm still going to say that December 8 is the plan for a fabric frenzy. In order to be part of that, you need to be in my peanut gallery Facebook group, and it is for USA only. I'm not sending shipments outside of the US. I do do the, um, I do do the military addresses, so those are cool. The link is always in my description box down below if you want to join my very quiet group because no one comments or posts there other than moi it's my one place that i am guaranteed silence unless i forget to turn the comments off i can't just turn comments off across the board in a group i have to remember to do it for each time i post so i'll post something and then i have to turn the comments off on that and i also like to turn off the notifications because i don't like to see my little numbers in facebook you know telling me that i have a lot of notifications but every now and then I forget, and the people just jump on it when I forget. It's like, this is a quiet zone. So I call it the no comment zone. Those of you who are in the group, if I accidentally leave comments on, that doesn't mean that I'm all of a sudden like in love with comments. So I do appreciate those of you who know that I like it quiet in there. I just appreciate it very much if you don't jump on the comments. Or if anything, you could always just tag me inside the comments, I guess, and say, Darlene, you left the comments on. Then I would probably notice. I don't know. All right. Um, what else did I want to say? So those are a little bit of plans that I think I could handle. I never know what tomorrow will bring. I don't know what the rest of today will bring. I might get home and my world might fall apart even worse. I mean, we just never know. We never know. I do also think that I would like to get back to the crocheting because I had started making blocks that I want to put together and make a little afghan to show you how one of the many ways that you can put crocheted blocks together. So I do want to work on that. I still have the dreaded quilt block party blocks that I want to embellish. And I had said that I'd probably do that off camera, so that might be another good thing that I can do is in my spare time, and I'm sure I'll have a lot of it. I can embellish some of those blocks and then just show you what I did. So I'm just trying to find something to grasp because normally when I travel, that's what gets me through my vacation is just thinking about all the wonderful things I will be able to do when my life is back to normal. But right now, I just don't feel like my life is going back to any kind of normal. It's going back to completely unknown. And I'm just grasping for things that I might be able to hang on to, latch on to, to make it feel like there is some normalcy. Beef jerky sounds like a plan. Fabric frenzy sounds like a good plan. And also those quilt blocks among other things, I'm sure.
Just in case you are interested, I uploaded a tiny video of Skylar doing her cheer, chant, and dance. And it's kind of cute because the dance, you know, is all quiet because there's no music. It wasn't a cheer. I did have a video on my phone of it, but it's very tiny. I don't even know how to get a video from my phone to YouTube, so I just skipped that. But she did it for me outside yesterday, and I uploaded that today. So her channel is Skyla's World. Link is down below. I can also put it on the end screen of this video if you want to go check out her channel. And you are more than welcome to subscribe if you'd like. She only gets content on on her channel when she's with me trying to get Derek involved in doing YouTube with her but um, you know it just it's hard you know he's busy with a lot of things and when he's with her it's not like he wants to say hey let's record a video for your channel so I try to do it whenever I'm with her and I'm glad I at least got that up because I really didn't feel up to nor do I really right now feel up to recording something with her I just want to like play cards tonight and not be doing any recording but anyway you can go subscribe you will not get bombarded with notices because she goes months with no new content so there is one little video now and she probably won't have another video until the next time I visit her which is usually like April March around there. I try to come here three times a year and then she comes to me in the summer I, But I don't know about next year where I'm gonna be how that's going to go So all I know for now is Depending on how things go. I should see her in about three or four months All right, I think I'm gonna stop now and upload this I will feel happy that I have something for content for you guys, even though it's nothing very exciting because I have nothing exciting to share at this point. Right now, it's an okay day, and I can't really ask for any better than that. My Thanksgiving feast was a pound of ground beef, and I made some iced tea from tea bags. And I will be enjoying an iced tea beverage later. And most likely some more ground beef. I might have some chicken wings. <laughs> I just hope you guys are all having a good day. Whether it's a holiday for you or not. I just wish everyone, like I said, an okay day. I think okay is really good. Don't you? It's better than horrible. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And I'll be back with more soon. Bye.